Hi guys and welcome to Moments with Mona. I want to thank you all for tuning in to today's video. I would also like to ask you guys to subscribe, comment, and like this video if you found it interesting. Today's topic is going to be on a vow that I decided to make with God. For the past few years, I've had a tough time with relationships. They were consistently failing and I couldn't understand why. So I figured this year I would give my time and who I was as a person to God and allow him to help me take the next step into hopefully creating a wonderful relationship or a wonderful marriage, as I should say. Um, basically, like I said, this is a vow that I created with God. So throughout this series, I'll be reading a bit of my journal to you guys, some of my private feelings and emotions. So just to be transparent, just to let you guys know that I'm just like you. Some of you have been in seasons of singleness for way longer than I have. I mean, I just started in January, but I want to say kudos to you because it's definitely hard. It's something extreme that not a lot of people can do. It takes a special person to say, I'm going to be single and I'm going to allow God to direct my path or just I'm going to focus on me, focus on who I want to be. So kudos to you guys, and hopefully you can help encourage me as I encourage you. So today, I'll be reading from my journal. This is my journal. I bought it at Walmart, and it's dear to my heart. It was $5. So, this is just a three-month update from January to April. I haven't really written anything down about this month, considering it just kind of started, so I'm kind of still getting a feel for it. So we'll see as time progresses. And hopefully in the next video, well not hopefully, but I will definitely have something to read in the next video. So here we go. Don't laugh, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. April 6, 2016. This is my year of singleness update. Since I began this journey, I've experienced nothing but pure happiness and sincere focus on life and the things of God. At the beginning of this year, I had a small slip up, but immediately ended it and started to take this tax seriously, I would say. So, I mean, I was, no, I wasn't serious at all. I wasn't serious about being single because it's like you say one thing when the new year hits, like new year, new me, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But when it comes down to actually doing it, you're just kind of like, oh, well. I said I was going to, but who cares, you know? So I did find myself in that place when I got into this pointless relationship with someone who I just met, pretty much. I was in a terrible place. Please, bear with me. But um, once I realized that this isn't what I wanted, I knew immediately that I needed to stop, take a breath, and just actually weigh out on my options, see what I really wanted to do. And once I realized that this was not, first of all, in the will of God, because, yeah, I'm not even going to go into that. It just was not the will of God. But I also knew that that's not, that wasn't someone who I could see myself with, you know, pursuing Christ and pursuing ministry. So I knew from them that I needed to cut those ties. So I remember praying a dangerous prayer that involved asking God to remove all distractions from my life. Little did I know he would move so rapidly, like immediately, really, it was amazing. So immediately all ties I had with the opposite sex were cut and the only male I had a relationship with, besides my brothers and my father, my grandfather, was Jesus Christ himself. Like there was no guy friends, there was nothing because you know potentially when you're a friend with a guy, it can't escalate to that next level. and. Considering that I wanted to glorify God through singleness this year, I knew I couldn't have those relationships. So God definitely revealed himself and cut those ties. So, 
Yes, I was a little uncomfortable with the sudden change, but with time my spirit began to settle itself and I found peace in knowing it was just Jesus and I. It's so incredible when you actually decide to give all your time and attention to God because he begins to give you the desires of your heart. And in Psalms 37 verse 4, it says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. So as I began to delight in him, as I began to spend time with him and actually talk with him, he started revealing his plan for my life. And I really enjoyed that time, so it became a desire of my heart. So now I desire to spend time with God. Now I desire to be in his presence instead of the presence of the opposite sex. So, so far... I found a job I truly love. Guys, if you have not checked out my blog, please, momentswithmona.com. On my blog, I discussed that last year it was a really tough time for me. I lost a job. Well, I was out of a job for about a year. And um, I was really struggling with trying to find a job because I do, you know, like everyone else, I have bills. I got to pay for stuff, clothes, you know, all that stuff. But I was out of a job and I was really depressed about it because I felt like I couldn't take care of myself. I couldn't take care of who I was becoming, you know. So God definitely worked at, worked it out in my favor, I would say. And then I also got the, the opportunity to start volunteering at a hospital. Tampa General Hospital because I'm going to be a doctor. Woo! And pediatrics. Watch out for me. But yeah, so I got that great opportunity. I was definitely excited when I got the email. So, after all that was said and done, I began to mentor, and my desire to teach Sunday school has grown, and there's so much more, so many endless things that I could say. But I am so very pleased with the vow I made to God and the results I've gotten because of my faithfulness. And that is my three-month update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.